Samsung Galaxy S25 easily has the best battery life I have ever seen on any phone. Let me show you some things, however, what you can do if you want to stretch it even further. First we can go in the settings, click device care, then over here performance profile and select the light performance profile. So this essentially will prioritize your battery life and over the like the most possible performance that this phone can get but still for 99% of the task I'm not really seeing any much difference when it comes to just how smooth the phone is and again for just browsing websites or watching YouTube videos checking emails uh, this phone still feels extremely fast but still we actually get significant battery improvements also in the same device care tab we can actually check our available storage and also memory so uh, make sure that you always have at least uh, maybe like 20 gigabytes of storage left on your phone otherwise if your like storage actually runs slow uh, phones actually start to struggle and can't function properly and again this causes also more battery drain so always make sure you have at least maybe like 20 gigabytes of like available storage also same for memory so you can also click this over here and we'll check which apps are actually using your memory and you can also detect maybe some kind of very cheeky app has been like uh, hogging all your memory and again making your phone slow and again if your phone is slow your battery life also will suffer. Also, we have this auto optimization feature over here that can restart our phone uh, basically uh, per day, basically when you actually do not use it. So again, uh, basically this helps actually to clear out any background junk from the phone. And again, if it's running smoothly, it will also will consume less battery life. Also, you can set up this auto restart function here. So to restart it whenever you want. But again, if you even do not have this auto restart function, I highly suggest you actually manually restart this phone at least maybe like once every three days. So again, it will clear out everything in the background and improve your overall performance as well as battery life. And next thing I can highly suggest you is actually use your phone in the dark mode. So we can swipe down and click this moon thing basically near the brightness slider. Uh, if you check basically how much light gets emitted basically during the regular mode, you can see a lot of light. But if we enable this, so and go back, as you see, there's like uh, maybe like 10 times less light. And again, this consumes literally like 10 times less energy when uh, basically all the areas are simply black. Also, if we go in the display settings and click dark mode settings, we can also set up schedule for this mode as well. So if you do not want it uh, during all day, so but still get significant uh, like energy boost. Uh, then also, uh, if you actually are willing to sacrifice a bit of smoothness, basically when you actually scroll the phone, I can also suggest you to actually click this on the motion smoothness and actually enable the standard motion smoothness. So by default, the phone is 120 hertz, the display, I mean, uh, so when you drop it down, essentially is uh, a bit basically worse. But still, when you actually still browse it, uh, yeah, there isn't really much problems though, but still probably it won't look as smooth. So all the animations won't look as smooth, but again, this can significantly increase your battery life if you need to. And also let me show you one feature that actually probably isn't needed for 99% of those people, but actually drains quite a lot of battery. So if we go in the connection settings, click more connection settings, make sure to disable nearby device scanning. Uh, so essentially this uh, scans for like any nearby devices and let's to you connect essentially to them more easier. So, but again, uh, we can simply go in the like Bluetooth settings and connect manual if you need that stuff. Uh, this stuff also works uh, basically if you, if you have your Bluetooth disabled. So again, this one very pesky feature that actually is actually known to uh, cause a lot of battery drain. Also, when it comes to more unneeded features that we can disable it, also make sure to actually go through all your basically enabled connections such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and mobile data and even like GPS uh, and simply disable it when you actually do not need them. For example, by default actually location is always on and again this actually uh, yeah, essentially like <laughs> consumes significant amount of battery. But again, if you ever lose your phone, this obviously can help you to actually retrieve your phone. So I think that's the main positive when you simply have your GPS on all the time. But again, for other things, this again, it's complete nonsense why it's actually on. Also, again, uh, you can also disable your Bluetooth if you actually do not use it and yeah, if you do not need. And again, uh, also if you, for example, use only Wi-Fi, then why are you keeping your mobile data on? So disable that. 
also again if you only use your mobile data then also make sure to disable your wi-fi so again simply go through all the settings that you actually do not need and simply disable those features again they scan uh, all the time in the background and consume a lot of battery life by the way when it comes to power consumption of wi-fi versus 5g or 4g then again wi-fi completely destroys uh, 5g when it comes to like battery life so again if you actually have access to a wi-fi network then make sure to use that instead of the uh, mobile network data by the way on the new s25 we actually get improved battery protection as well so if we go in the battery settings click battery protection over here we can enable this maximum battery protection so essentially it will stop charging once it reaches 80 percent but check this if you actually click this this year we can actually change the battery percentage at which it should stop so personally i think 80 uh, percent uh, isn't very practical so i think 90 percent does really the same job but actually it's more practical so uh, it's actually great that samsung actually has uh, put this slider in so we can adjust it as needed also when it comes to more new features if we go in the battery information you can actually see our uh, battery cycle count and also your battery health also make sure to check how good is your 5g signal in your area for example if you do not have the best 5g signal and you do not see the full bars then the phone will completely go nuts and consume crazy amounts of battery life to connect to the 5g tower so again when you compare uh, 5g versus 4g uh, 4g and um, basically gets much much better reach so it can reach further and again uh, it will give you like more stable connection in not the best area essentially and it will consume significantly less battery life we can go in the connections over here click mobile networks and we can set it to run in 4g as well so again if you do not have the best 5g generally i suggest you actually run it in 4g so again this will uh, significantly transform your battery life again by the way still even if you have very good 5g signal it still will actually consume more battery life than the lte 4g so again maybe if you simply need to download some very large files and simply enable 5g but the rest of the time if you want to get best battery life simply run it from the 4g and next you probably already know this but again make sure from time to time to actually close all your uh, unneeded apps that are actually running in the background so these still consume quite a lot of energy uh, even if they are actually minimized and also finally basically this phone actually has a very good extreme power saving modes again so in emergency basically if you are running very low on the battery we can actually enable this so we are going to simply click and hold on the power saving so hold for some time so if you simply enable this this will uh, essentially enable only the light power saying mode so again this will actually like uh, essentially do a lot of things that i already showed you in this video but if you go over here on the bottom basically enable this maximum power saying mode this will actually limit uh, what you can actually do with this phone as you can see i only uh, essentially have this screen on my phone so i do not have any like backgrounds as you see everything is black and i have access only to uh, some certain apps that i choose so again this uh, probably is the best mode in an emergency also in the same power saying menu if you click the three dots over here you can actually enable adaptive power saying mode as well so i think this actually might be useful for a lot of people so essentially this phone will actually determine when you actually probably aren't using your phone the most and actually will uh, enable that power saying mode so to get you the best battery life i think this is actually pretty decent and yeah overall when it comes to the battery life of the s25 actually i'm super super impressed so it's uh, again easily one of the best phones that i have ever seen when it comes to uh, battery life and yeah absolutely great phone actually in my opinion by the way i'm actually really trying to grow this channel if you could help me out that'd be so much appreciated thank you and good luck everyone